Meet the puppets. Freddy the horse. Sally the cow and look out for Shona the sheep and Tony the donkey. Who's this lot coming into our lowly cattle shed now? Oh, I don't know. Probably more visitors to see where a mother laid her baby in our manger for his bed. It was peaceful before, wasn't it? Aye. Until late last night, we'd all gone to bed and it was nice and peaceful. A silent night. Then the door crashed open and since then it's been like a city centre. Aye. The innkeeper's wife brought them in, the girl and her man, brought them to my stall and said they should sleep with me as my stall was the cleanest in the whole stable. You could tell she was going to have a baby. I could tell straight away. So they settled down on my clean straw. People in my stall. Yes, and then, just when we'd all settled down to go to sleep, the girl starts to shout at the man. Desperate shouts, saying that her time had come. The poor man goes running off to get help. The door crashes open again. And help comes. The man was no use. He just stood there looking worried. Kept saying he knew about carpentry, but not about childbirth. Then the baby was born. Didn't he make a noise? Until his mother comforted him. She wrapped him in a cloth and... Used our manger, our food trough for a cot for the baby. Well, she couldn't have put him on the floor. It was so cold. She had to find somewhere to lay down his sweet head. Then all the helpers left, and I hoped we could get back to sleep. But no, it was like there was a new light, a big light left on over our stable. Aye. It was dark all around, but seemed to be light just where we all were. It was strange. Aye. Then the door bursts open again, and there were a bunch of shepherds. I wish they'd brought their sheep with them. I could do with meeting some nice sheep. When they saw the baby in the food trough, wrapped in cloth bands, they were so excited. They said it was a sign. I thought they'd had too much mint beer. Aye. Kept saying a light had appeared in the sky and an angel told them not to be afraid. And today in the town of David... A saviour has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Then the angel said they know it was true because he would have no baby clothes and no cot but would be wrapped in cloth in a feeding trough. <laughs> Definitely too much mint beer. Aye. Then they said a whole lot of angels appeared saying glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to men on whom his favour rests. Definitely too much mint beer. Aye. I know shepherds look after us sheep, but when they sleep rough on a hillside in the bleak midwinter, they smell worse than a dead wolf. Why couldn't the angels have told someone posh? Like who? Someone different. Why not mystical men from the east who travel on camels, wear rich coloured clothes and bring exotic gifts? And smell nice. Oh, people like that wouldn't believe what they were told, even by an angel. They'd need a sign to follow, something in the sky or stars. People like that wouldn't come. Some people will never believe what they're told. Oh. Then when the shepherds left, they just couldn't stay quiet or keep still. They must have told everyone what they'd seen. Yes, since then we've had nothing but people, people, people. Children, grown-ups, old, young. Oh, I wonder how long people will come seeking this baby. What do they call him? Jesus? Ah, oh, Jesus.
Jesus was born that special night, as the new star above filled the place with lights. Mary and Joseph looked upon him with love. God's son came to earth from heaven above. And there they all were, Jesus, Mary, Joseph, the shepherds and all the animals too. What God would do next, nobody knew.